welcome back to Let's Makeup. I am Siobhan for anyone who's new and in today's video I am showing swatches of all 105 of my English eyeshadows. This is a highly 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 requested video and it's something I've been putting on putting off rather forever because I knew how long it would take and it literally took me a full working day to um, swatch and photo every single one of the swatches but it was worth it because I know a lot of you want to see swatches out there so um, I was kind of inspired to do this after watching Kristen Leanne's video on the um, new Urban Decay with Gwen palette which looks amazing she did um, a swatching video on that even though she had only like 15 eyeshadows to swatch or however many were in it um, but yeah, so I was like, feck it, I'll just get off my arse and do this for you because loads of people have been asking and um, people are always asking me to let them know the numbers of the eyeshadows. I never really have in the past because I was like, ah, it'll take too long, but I have the numbers included for every single one of the eyeshadows here. And I'm just going to start off now with the one of the oldest and the smallest eyeshadow palette. So this is the five pan round palette that no longer exists. You used to be able to use this for the um, little round eyeshadows and obviously you can still use it for the round lipsticks and brow products, I think. They don't actually make this size um, palette anymore. They just make the round four, I think. So they stopped making these round eyeshadows years ago. That'll show you how long I've had this for. I was sent this, I'd say about five years ago, maybe by SoClum79 here on YouTube, um, Heather. So yeah, I was about to start reading out the numbers for you, but there's no need because it's um, here in all the swatches. I'll just let you know as we go along if there's anything I think is particularly lovely or something that is maybe the best color payoff or whatever. In this particular palette, I love this center color, which I know it's a little bit maybe boring compared to the others, but it's such a beautiful bronze color, the 422. Really, really, really lovely color. And the, the turquoise is quite nice as well, just one that I wouldn't really use very often. So of course, you can pause this video at any time and if you need to take down notes or screenshot or whatever, um, I'm not gonna obviously spend too long in every palette, but these are all gonna be put up on my blog, which is letsmakeup.com. And um, you can go over there if you wanna see all the swatches there together. The next palette is this one here. It's another one of the round palettes and um, I've had this for years. It was like pretty much when I first discovered that Inglot was in Ireland, um, Limerick was my closest one. I just hopped into the car and went down and I got this 10 pan. I can't remember how much this one was, to be honest. Um, I know the eyeshadows in general used to be um, less expensive, but this is what I've on my eyes today. On the um, inner corner, I have 393. And on my highlight, I have 395. And 395 is part of the Christmas palette that is available now, the limited edition one, that I was so jealous, I'll, I'll, I'll admit that, when I saw all the other bloggers opening up their mail, um, I was like, it's such a nice palette, but then I realised I actually own six of the ten shadows, um, so, you know, <laughs> they'd actually be a bit wasted on me. Um, I love this centre one at the top, this is what I've on the main lid today, it's 406, it's just such a beautiful gold, I love, love, love this eyeshadow, and, um, yeah, really, really lovely palette. It's actually kind of one that I kind of forgot about, but one of my favorites. So um, I'm definitely gonna be using these a lot more now after doing this swatching video as well. Next up is one of my favorite palettes. This is a 10 pan palette of the normal size. So these, um, the actual eyeshadows are six euros each full price. There is a pro discount available obviously for people who can prove that they're professional makeup artists. And um, the empty palette is, give me a sec. Yes, it's 14 euro for the empty 10 palette and then of course six per um, insert. Um, but anyhow, this is my favorite of the palettes. This, um, I'm not even ma a massive fan of silvers, but this silver, which is number 152, is such a beautiful silver once swatched on. And then number 450, that is also in the Christmas palette that's available now. Um, really, really love sh lovely shades here. And of course, number 63, which is that black shade at the bottom, is the blackest black. This kicks um, Max Carbon's arse. So like, I wouldn't bother using Max Carbon when I have this. And I have two of these um, number 63s because I think they're so good. I love the number 308 as well, which is one of the newer shades that was released for the fall or autumn um, collection. Next we have, this is what I call like my randoms palette. Um, it is another 10 pan palette and some beautiful shades again. I love those greens. I actually have two of the um, 433 green because I ended up buying it twice by mistake. Uh, there's a few 
colors like that that I have repeated because um, I suppose I was just drawn to a few of them. But now being the big nerd that I am, I have actually, hold on, I'll show you. Oh, I don't know where it is, but basically I have a book somewhere where I have a list of all the eyeshadows that I own. I have them put into all the different categories like matte and pearl and stuff like that. And then I have a list of ones that I don't have yet that I want to get. It has to be done when you own over 100 eyeshadows. Um, again, this has some really, really nice eyeshadows. It has the, that's the next 63. And one thing Inglot do well are gold, gold kind of like, you know, those metallic eyeshadows. And I really, really love the number 154 here as well. Just really, really lovely um, colors. So that's another palette. I tend to use these ones a little bit more than the round one. Um, this is my most used palette now. I got a couple of MAC palettes. And I put, um, I have, how would I put it? I have strips of magnet, if you can see there, underneath. And that is how I have these um, adhered to because the Inglot palettes are already magnetized. Whereas the MAC palettes aren't because the MAC eyeshadows are the things with the magnets. It's the opposite way around with Inglot, if that makes sense. So you need to magnetize MAC palettes if you want the Inglot eyeshadows in them. But I really like this size and I have 15 of my favorite, more or less mattes. This actually has three of the colors from the Christmas palette in it. So you have number 351, which is up there at the top left hand side. Then if you go all the way down to the very bottom right hand side, those last two shades, which is 329 and 395, they're also in the um, Christmas palette, but I adore this eyeshadow palette. I really do. And then I just threw in that dark bronzy gold, um, I think it is, yeah, an AMC shine finish, which is Kind of one of the ones that has glitter in them and um, just for good measure but i really really love this palette and i use these mattes quite a lot um really really lovely mattes i think english eyeshadows are pretty much my favorite eyeshadows out there and um, like there are other eyeshadows that i that i absolutely adore as well but if i had to choose like one makeup brand hold on how would i put this if i had to choose one makeup brand like eyeshadows if I had to choose eyeshadows from one makeup brand for the rest of my life, I think I'd go with Inglot just because there's such a great um, selection. Next up, we have another MAC palette with eyeshadows in it, so more 15. I love these ones. We have 08 here up at the top left-hand side, and that is one of my favorite highlight colors. It is this beautiful gold. There is a, a number seven, I think, in the in the um, Christmas one that's available at the moment, the limited edition one. And sorry, anyone outside of Ireland, I believe that this limited edition palette is Ireland only, but um, it's very similar to that. It's just a bit lighter. Then number 357, which is the second from the last right on the top, is also in the Christmas palette. And you will see that a lot of these shades are similar enough um, in the actual palette, but they do look quite different when they are swatched. So really, really love that palette as well. And then finally, we have the um, piece de resistance. Absolutely murdered that. We have my massive 40 pan palette. So this is so good in that you can keep all your bits together, but it's not great for the kit because it's just so big and bulky. So that's why I kind of want to get two 20s instead of having the big 40. Um, but yeah, we have some really, really gorgeous shades in here. Now, because there are so many in here, I've broken this into corners. So I'm going to start off with the top left hand corner and you have um, some greens and blues and yellows there. You can see here that um, the rainbow colors, the rainbow um, eyeshadows, a lot of them, they're all just the exact same color, just a deeper shade next up, which is great. Great if anyone wants to do gradient looks. And um, there's a mixture of mattes and shimmers in here, but I just love these. It's such a great palette. I use this very heavily throughout the Halloween period when I was doing my Halloween looks. Um, you would have seen me using this a lot in those ones. Then moving over to the top right hand side, um, one of my favorite colors out of this is number three, no, what is it? Number 46, up at the very top right hand side beside the um, pink rainbow colors. It's just another beautiful highlight. That's another thing Inglot do very well are highlights. Now that pink um, rainbow color, for some reason it's the, one eyeshadow with the least color payoff out of all the eyeshadows and out of all the rainbow eyeshadows but um i'm not really sure why that is it just because i've given it like i was worried that there was um a hard film over the top but there wasn't then number 340 which is that peacock green shade it's so lovely it's a really like nice alternative to black if you're looking for something a bit different and i really like um the second shade down on the left hand side which is 445 it's just a really beautiful movie 
um, purple. Then we'll move down to the bottom left hand corner. We have two rows of four here. You can see how gorgeous those turquoise shades look on the skin. And I'm not sure if I mentioned this already, but the swatches were put on clean, dry skin. There was no base or no primer used. Um, a couple of the matter ones or the more matte shades needed a couple of swipes, but it just goes to show how well it adheres to the skin without any kind of base. Um, so there are a good few of those rainbow colors there. I really love the lilac shade, which is number uh, three four six that is such a beautiful shade um anyhow then for the last wee corner we have another one of my favorite colors which is number 488 it's a gorgeous pink highlight so so pretty and um, the two colors to the left of that 441 and 439 the purple shades were some of my first ever eyeshadows that i bought from english and um that rainbow color the grays and blacks number 120 isn't it 120 or yeah that black is so so black it's nearly blacker than the 63 so i highly recommend getting that that would be absolutely brilliant for anyone who wants to do a smoky eye so there you go that's all the um eyeshadow swatch free and kind of went through some of my favorites if you want to see these like i said they are over on letsmakeup.com and just let me know which of these eyeshadows you want to see in action i will pick a couple of eyeshadows maybe two or three eyeshadows to use together in my next makeup tutorial for you so i hope you like this guys if you have any questions leave them below for me and i'll just see you all in my next video which might be this sunday but i will always announce when my next video is on um twitter and snapchat so i'll leave the handles for those, these here if you want to follow me on those and i'll just see you all in my next video so thanks a million for watching guys Slam.